Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWide. So in this video, I will cover two topics. First, how to add your Google Sites on Google Search Console and how to enable Google Analytics for your Google Sites. So first, I will tell you about Google Search Console. It's a tool by Google that helps you to improve your website to rank on Google Search Engine. And it will also help you to optimize your content with search. It will get your content on Google. It will get you alarm or alert on issues and fix it. It will understand how Google search sees your pages. So these are the some benefits of Google search console. So first of all, we need to enable Google analytics on your Google sites. So let's start. So this is my website in Google sites. You can see and I already connected my Google sites to a custom domain. This is my domain name, dog love and care. If you don't know how to connect your Google sites to a custom domain, I will put a video link in description box. So with the help of that video, you can easily connect your Google sites to a custom domain. One important thing, if you are using multiple Gmail logins on your Chrome browser, use incognito mode. So let's start and enable Google Analytics on your Google sites. Open your browser and type Google Analytics. Then go to this option, sign in Google Analytics. If you already have a Google Analytics account, then you have to go to add a new property option. So let's start and then go to start measuring. Now enter your account name. Okay, now take this option, Google product and services, then click on next. Now you have to enter your property name. Uh, I will type my uh, website name like this. Now you have to enter your zone, time zone. I will use dollar option. You can choose as per your requirement. Then click on next. Now you have to submit some information about your business. Category will be pet and animals and this one. Tick all the options. It will help Google Analytics to optimize your website. Then click on create. Now I will choose my country. Then click this option. I accept then click on I accept you can see success then click on save now you have to choose your platform click on website now enter your website URL so this is important what you have to do is, uh, let's suppose this is my custom domain. Okay. In this case, I will copy the whole URL, then paste it here. Okay. If you are using a free uh, domain uh, like this, I will show you. Wait a minute. Like this. If you are using a free domain from Google Sites like this. Then you have to copy this. Don't copy slash home. Copy from your website name. If you are using a free domain of Google Sites, then you use the URL like this. Choose HTTPS 
and remove this like this okay so in my case i have a custom domain so i will copy from www because https is already is here paste it website name will be dog love and care okay enable this option and click on create stream so copy this measurement id copy okay go to your google sites then go to setting option this setting icon click on it then go to analytics click on it paste measurement id you can see google analytics tracking or measurement id so this is our measurement id paste it here enable analytics that's it closes cut this page now you can see data stream our website is added go to home okay refresh this page you can see your website data collection is active now it will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes to active and now you can see one user now it's collecting my data my website data because i opened my website on another tab of incognito you can see so now it's collecting my data website data and your website data collection is active our data is now showing on google analytics now we have to add the site on google search console go to the new tab and type google google search console go to google search console tool now go to start now so if you have a custom domain then you have to use this option domain option if you don't have any custom domain and you are using the free domain of google sites then you have to use this option i will show you if you are using a free domain uh, like this i will show you how to copy this url prefix so let's suppose uh, this is the free domain of google sites in this case you have to copy this url don't copy slash home copy this and you have to paste it like that okay i will show you the complete url it's like this okay so if you are using a free domain of google sites then you have to use this option url prefix i will delete this because i have a custom domain so in this case i will use this only custom domain don't use www okay then click on continue now you can see ownership auto verified then click on go to property now you can see it's done our site is added in google search console you can see now we will index our home page and this time we will add slash home on our url so let's do it let's suppose if you are using a free domain like this in this case you have to copy the whole url with slash home and paste it here and then press enter to index this url i will delete it so in my case i have already a custom domain so i will copy this url the whole url 
then paste it here and then press enter to index this page now you have to go to request indexing click on it now you can see indexing requested got it you can see the option this is indexing requested now you have to add all your pages like this I have about us page click on that page copy this URL then go to the search option paste it here then press enter then click on request indexing got it and you can see indexing requested so follow the same procedure for all your pages I have another page contact us so copy this whole URL go to the search bar paste it then click on enter then click on request indexing so you have to follow the same procedure for all your pages and for example if you are using a free uh, domain of google sites then what you have to do is you have to first copy and paste this url okay then do the same with this page copy the whole url and paste it to google console on the search bar for this also copy the whole url and paste it in google search console page if you are using free domain of Google sites so this is how you can index your pages on Google search console remember it can be take uh, anything about four days to two months for your page to start appearing in the search thank you thanks for watching tech white have a nice day